Hi gorgeous! Happy Frugal Friday to you! In today's video I have a bunch of must-haves and must-nots to share with you from the drugstore. So let's hop right on into it. Recently I did a tutorial for summer featuring some products from Flower Cosmetics and I had a lot of questions in that video about how I felt about the line in general. And I've been using it for about two years, pretty happy with most everything I've used from the flower line, but there are a couple of duds I'm gonna share with you today that I've not been too impressed with. First one being the translucent powder. Now this was a very recent purchase for me. It was one I used in the same tutorial that I mentioned just a minute ago. And I didn't know it at the time, but afterwards when I was editing, I saw that there was a little bit of powder on my face that did not blend in with the look like it should have. And we have a cat in a bag. Can you not behave for like one video? Gosh, okay. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, kittens, kittens, just into everything. After I saw that, it turned me off on the product, as you can imagine. And even after I have been using it a couple times since that video, I've not been impressed with the application, the more I've used it, and how long it lasts either. It doesn't keep my face as matte as I would like. It only goes for about five hours, and then it starts to make the foundation look weird also. Not too happy with it overall. So I would say save your money on this one, especially because it is one of the more expensive drugstore powders out there. I have another powder I've just not been that impressed by, and that is the Milani Face Powder. This is their light, medium, multitasking face powder. I didn't care for this one in terms of how it wore, and after a while, it started to look kind of cakey on my face, and it only went for about four hours on me before it really broke down. So not too happy with this one. Going back to Flower Cosmetics, one of the products I have been very impressed by from Drew Barrymore's line in the past is her liquid foundation. So when I was in the store recently, I found a new foundation to try. This is their Erase Everything Ultimate Foundation, and this is in the shade UF2. I love the applicator brush with this one. It has great even coverage. It's spectacular in terms of wear time. It doesn't break down. It goes on me for about eight hours, which I find to be spectacular for a drugstore foundation an all around great choice if you're looking for a new one to try. But another dud I have to share with you from the Flower Cosmetics line is one of their Eye Coal pencils. This is in the shade Tell Me No Lilacs. Now this is supposed to act like a cream eyeshadow. You're supposed to be able to apply this onto your eyes, blend it in, and it wears like a cream eyeshadow. But I didn't have that experience with it. It does not apply evenly. It's very splotchy, extremely hard to blend. It was just such a nightmare to work with, and I didn't like it one bit. So this is one that I would say, skip, save your money, is not worth it. Another product I had to share with you comes from Ulta. These are their new makeup sponges. You get two in a pack for $10, and I used them in a video very recently. You may remember. I'll admit I was a little lazy that day. I did not feel like getting up, going to the bathroom, running them under the faucet, so I just sprayed them with some water I had on my makeup table. And obviously they didn't get wet enough, so I felt like they were hard against my skin and I didn't like them initially. And then several of you said in the comments, no, 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 you have to immerse them fully underwater and they'll get really plump and really easy to work with and they're very soft. So I said, okay, I went back and did that and you were right. They do need to be immersed under the faucet. You can't be lazy with these. <laughs> After you do that, they are incredibly soft and great value for the money. And now I really like them, but I don't like that I can't be lazy with them. <laughs> Another must have product for you to try that I cannot rave enough about are the Milani Amore Metallic Lip Creams. I had a lot of questions on these since I made the video last week on the Wet n Wild Metallic Lipsticks. These are better only by a little bit, but they are really, really good. On the day that I tested this one out, by the way, this is in the shade Automatic Touch. This went for nine hours on my lips. This is with eating and drinking, and it looked like this. That is spectacular for a drugstore lipstick. Now, they are a little bit more expensive than the Wet n Wild Metallic lipsticks. I'll give it that, but better quality. You get just a little bit longer wear time with these. The finish is a little bit different than the Wet n Wild ones too. I don't feel like it is anywhere near as metallic, that's just my opinion. And they dry a little bit more matte compared to the Wet n Wild ones, which tend to stay more wet throughout the day. But overall, I'm very happy with these. I'm gonna have to pick more of these up 
if I can find them because they are hard to find too. And those were all the products. Yes, those were all the products. Okay, well, we can wrap this video up then. Let me know what some of your must haves and must nots have been from the drugstore recently. Would love to hear your picks as well. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more Frugal Fridays. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Have a great weekend.